Hello everyone. This is Dr. Jay Mehta here from Mumbai. And in this video, I'm going to try and speak about the sperm DNA fragmentation index. Obviously, this is a very big term, you know. The short form for this is sperm DFI. DNA fragmentation index. If I break this terminology into very simple terms, it means DNA. So we all know inside every human cell there is the presence of a dna right this is the thing which keeps us going we already know about the dna fragmentation what does that mean fragment means breaking it up into small pieces index when i tell index that means let's say if i have 100 sperms what does it mean out of 100 sperms how many sperms are actually having dna fragmentation that is the meaning of sperm dna fragmentation index what is this test when is it needed and who is going to benefit out of this test in order to describe this thing let me just give a very small idea of how a human sperm is remember the human sperm is one of the most brilliant cells in the human body you know why because the human sperm is supposed to go leave the body of the male partner go inside the female partner survive the environment of the female reproductive tract and hopefully reach the ovum fertilize and give rise to a baby so that means this is one cell who is supposed to work outside the comfort zone as a result of this the human sperm is a very specialized cell if you look at it in every cell there is something called as cytoplasm that means it's the fluid part of the cell the human sperm has very limited cytoplasm and it has very compact dna all the dna of the sperm if you look at the sperm structure the sperm has a sperm head neck body that is called as the middle piece and then the tail you know that's how the sperm moves forward all this dna is actually concentrated in the sperm head okay and this human sperm or the male sperm is exposed to a lot of chemical reactions even inside the testis and in the female reproductive tract as a part of this complex chemical reactions which occur there is something called as free radical species which occur in the human sperm this is called as if you use the normal word it is called as oxidative stress and this oxidative stress can cause damage to the sperm dna in this sperm dna fragmentation test or sperm dna fragmentation index we are trying to study how many sperms have a damaged or a fragmented dna is this important to study remember quite some while back this test was practically not available and that time there used to be a lot of male patients who used to come and say doctor all my reports are normal my counts are good my motility is good my morphology is good then why is it that we are not able to conceive we've tried iui we've tried to conceive naturally nothing is working what is happening in these situations it is believed that when a male is infertile he may have a high amount of dna fragmentation as a result of this this test was invented and introduced so normally if the sperm dna fragmentation index is less than 20 in indian men we can say that the index is normal that means around 20% of sperms can have a damaged dna which is okay the male can still conceive naturally but if the dfi or dna fragmentation is more than 20% then these males might need the help of assisted reproduction this could be in the form of iui or in the form of ivf but more commonly in the form of ivf what is important to understand about this test is that it's very important who does your test the dna fragmentation index is actually a very difficult test to do it requires a very very good doctor to do the test because slide preparation 
this entire thing is tested on a slide and the preparation of the slide is exceedingly important in order to identify the dna fragmentation index correctly this dna fragmentation can be also done assisted with the help of a computer assisted program and that is the best way of detecting and declaring the dna fragmentation index of any male partner in our subsequent videos we will try and explain what should we do if the dna fragmentation index is on the higher side and we will also try and demonstrate the actual procedure of doing the dna fragmentation index as well as its implications on male infertility should there be questions on this you can freely post them in the comments box me or one of my team members will try and answer as soon as we see them thank you so much